What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. So I was laying there half sleep, maybe 75% sleep, maybe 80% sleep. And when I had went to bed initially, I had just left YouTube running on my phone. And, you know, I guess a small part of me was was listening at some point in the middle of the night. And I heard Stephen A. Smith talking about the Clippers and he made some comments about Russell Westbrook. And then I remember waking up and then I remember getting angry and annoyed. And I was like, did I hear what I thought I heard in the middle of the night? And I had to go back and listen to it again and make sure I heard everything I thought I heard. Went, went into my YouTube account, went into my history, Found a video where Stephen A. Smith was talking, because you know how it is. He keeps running to the next video. And sure enough, I heard what I thought I heard. The disrespect to Russell Westbrook and the casual that Stephen A. Smith has, um, he has exposed himself to be. But y'all take a listen, and then I'll let you know why I feel this way. To the other L.A. team we go. The Clippers are red hot, continue their winning ways as they dropped 151 total points on the Pacers in a win. James Harden went off, dropping 18 straight points in the fourth quarter, finishing with 35 points, 24 of them coming from deep, dishing out nine assists. It's been a complete turnaround for the Clips. They've won eight straight while scoring 126 points per game. This comes only one month after this team lost the first five games that Harden played in a Clippers uniform. Stephen A., could the Clippers be the biggest threat to Denver in the West? I believe they could. And in fairness to James Harden, let's understand that we were saying that his subtraction from Philadelphia was a plus for the 76ers. What we didn't say enough of is that his addition to the Clippers had been a plus for them. And so right now we're in a situation where I'm looking at the Los Angeles Clippers. James Harden is doing his thing. Mm -hmm. um, he's averaging about 17 a game. Uh, when you look at Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, of course we anticipate that games will be missed, somebody will get hurt, we're not wishing for it, actually we're praying that it doesn't happen because we want to see everybody fully loaded so we can find out who's what and, and, and what they can do. But I got to tell you, you look at the Clippers and the way that they're reacting and responding to James Harden, he's in a great situation. Give a lot of love to Russell Westbrook because Russell Westbrook statistically has tailed off since James Harden has arrived, but he's on the bench rooting for him. He's in the game celebrating with him when James Harden assists him on a play. He accepts the fact that James Harden is that starting point guard for them. Paul George is balling like he told me he would when I went on Podcast P. He said he's going to play bully ball against everybody, and he has been flat out balling, and Kawhi Leonard is the star that he is. If the Los Angeles Clippers can maintain health with the exceptional coaching of Ty Lue, the athleticism and the engine, the push that they get from Russell Westbrook, if James Harden makes sure that he brings his game from the regular season to the postseason instead of disappearing. When he was talking about each of the individual uh, big cogs in the Clippers team, on the Clippers team, and he mentioned Russell Westbrook. And he's like, oh, we got to give some love to Russell Westbrook. You know, he's out there, you know, basically saying he's doing a good job cheerleading. And I got a problem with that. You think that's the best thing he's doing is cheerleading for James Harden now that James Harden has pretty much took his role because Russell Westbrook willingly and extended an olive branch to go sit down on a bench to help build continuity, help James Harden build continuity. Willingly, the guy that people have been calling selfish for years, and for years I've been saying this guy is misunderstood, y'all need to actually watch this man play, and you realize that he's just not about himself and selfish. I was always defending Russ when people tried to call him out. Why every teammate he's ever had outside of the Lakers for the most part have nothing but glowing things to say about this guy. And I guess you could say Kevin Durant as well. Why is that? But that's not my problem. My problem is what he should have said about let's give Russell Westbrook some credit. Let's show Russ some love. Yeah. He showed that he was the ultimate teammate. But anybody watching that would take that as that's all Russell Westbrook is doing right now. 
less minutes and cheerleading. No, casual. Do you actually watch the games? Don't make a comment like that unless you're actually watching games. Because if you was watching games, you wouldn't disrespect Russ like that. Russell Westbrook is doing a lot of important things for that ball club, especially when it comes to pushing tempo. And he did mention the pushing tempo part briefly. But he really energizes the ball club, energizes whatever lineup he's in. On top of that, what they're not mentioning or anybody's talking about is Russell Westbrook has been playing stellar defense has been giving great effort on the defensive end, the hustling, and especially the help defense. Not to mention his rebounding and the amount of minutes he's getting, especially, has been phenomenal. On top of that, grabbing crucial rebounds in very critical moments of the game where the game can swing on a pivot, a pendulum style, and clutch rebounding and effort plays on a night-in, night-out basis, especially when he's in the game during those moments. Now, I've been watching these games, and this is the type of stuff Russ has been doing on a consistent basis, not to mention his pick-and-roll game is fantastic. He's passing the ball around. He's getting uh, shots to open men, crashing the boards like he's always done, like a maniac and attacking the rim relentlessly in the minutes he's given. Constantly attack mode. Keeping the defense off kilter and pushing them back with his energy and his ferocity and his tenacity. I'm letting all you know that haven't been watching the Clippers. This is what Russell Westbrook has been doing. Mind you, he didn't have to necessarily accept that role, not necessarily accept it, but you know, find it within himself to be like, hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the bench. Because Russ was playing fantastic ever since he got to the Lakers at the end of last season. He didn't have to do that. He was balling. He was looking damn good alongside Paul George and Kawhi Leonard before Harden came over there. Now any given night. He's only getting about 15 to 28 minutes a game where he was getting in the 30s prior to James Harden getting there. So, yes, kudos for him for being the ultimate teammate and out there, not on the bench, sobbing, crying, but cheering everybody on like Russ has always done. Outside of some some uh, dark and low moments with the Lakers because the Lakers absolutely treated Russ like shit and he got no support from his all-star teammates for the most part. I think LeBron might have came out once or twice and said something, but it was, he really wasn't getting support like that. He wasn't. Whereas this Clippers culture has embraced him and he's embraced the Clippers. Every team Russ has always been on, he's always been a great teammate and cheering his, cheering his team on when he's on the bench. Especially now coming off the bench as a role. And still giving maximum effort in every possible way he can find it. Sacrificing his body, crashing. The dude's out there doing a little bit of everything. And he's not getting credit for it and people aren't talking about it. The networks definitely aren't talking about it because they have a vendetta against Russell Westbrook. We know that. They can't stand this guy no matter what he does. Maybe because how he reacts to the media sometimes. So obviously, they're going to use their power to paint him in a different kind of image than what he really actually is, especially as a player. I won't stand for it. I'm going to use my platform and tell everybody really what the hell's been going on. And this, everything I just said, are the real contributions that Russell Westbrook has been making to this team. And they've been great coming off the bench. Stephen A. Smith, you could have you could have said more about Russ. Because especially, like I said, people don't watch the game. Would have just took that as Russ is just a cheerleader now, which is not the case. And out there giving it maximum effort. Like Deadpool said, maximum effort. You don't believe me? Go and watch a Clippers game. And tell me this guy ain't out there doing all the little things. Hustling hard. Off the bench. And before the trade, or right after the trade happened, before Harden played a game, 
I've been saying I think Harden needs to come off the bench. And I also said, whether this works or not, eventually, if it does work with Russ coming off the bench and Harden starting, I just think that swapping those two, it would be more effective. But either way, they're winning right now, and I can't argue with that. Whether I think it's a, it'll be a little better or not, they're winning right now. They're looking damn good. And I can't say much. It's working. And everybody has bought into their roles and what Ty Lue is asking of them. So we'll see what happens. I have picked the Clippers to win the championship uh, a majority of the last couple of years. Ever since Kawhi Leonard got to the Clippers, most years they were my favorite to win the championship. And this was the one year where I was definitely like, I, was, I still like them, but it's just the injury thing. But I didn't know James Harden was going to come on the team. I still like them. I think I put them somewhere on like fringe contenders when I did my predictions. Said they, they're just missing a little something and, and probably with the injury bug. I can't remember exactly what I said. But halfway through the season, I'll reassess everything after the, the trade deadline and all that. But we'll see. Anywho. I'm actually going to go ahead and put money on the Clippers to win the NBA championship. I'm going to go ahead and put a big, uh, large lump sum of money in now before, you know, they actually catch heat and really climb up the rankings and the payout won't be as much. So we'll see. Anywho, y'all let me know what you think about it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Justice for Russell Westbrook. I'm going to continue to fight mainstream media and, and uh, keep it real about this guy. Keep it 100. Keep it a buck. One zero zero. All the way. Shout out to Russ. Keep doing you, baby. And uh, shout out to everybody else. Thank you for the support. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.